Hello, Pastor Paul Weringa here again. Greetings. Uh, it sounds like uh, women are taking advantage of men during this situation whereby a woman has been killed in Nigeria. Uh, and by the fact that this woman is popular and has been killed by the husband, now women in churches are getting grounds to pull men on the wall and even to speak against men. And here I'm going specifically to speak about a woman by the name of Pastor Sarah Omaku. Something happened to the body of Christ on Friday when evangelist or sister Osinachi was killed. She didn't die. She was killed. Pastor Sarah Omaku is a woman preacher in Nigeria. And it's so shameless to see that Pastor Sarah Omaku is speaking unto men without respect. And I pity the men of this church because that is not what the Bible says. I want to talk to only men this morning. And I know when I talk, they will say, eh, but you, you should talk about the women. No, I will not. It is my, my microphone. I am right here right now. I will talk. The Bible says that women should be submissive and women should, a woman should have no authority over a man. But it makes me surprised to see men in this church, this false church, being commanded by a woman and the woman is speaking unto them like kids. You see, uh, men, men stand up. I want to see, let, let me see your faces. Stand up, stand up. I want to speak all over the world. You people stand up. Even if, if you are by your bed, stand up if you are a man and look at my eye through the TV. The Bible says in 1 Timothy chapter 2, verses 11, the Bible says, Let the woman learn in silence with all subjection. But I suffer not a woman to teach nor to accept authority over the man, but to be in silence. For Adam was first formed than Eve. And Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived was in transgression. Notwithstanding, she shall be saved in childbearing if they continue in faith and charity and holiness with sobriety. So it makes me wonder, the men of this church, if they really know what the Bible says. Because this woman should not be even standing before them. In fact, this woman should be seated down quiet waiting to talk to the husband back in the house in case she does not understand anything. But look at how she is shamelessly speaking unto men in a very, you know, dishonorable way, speaking unto men in a way that is not worthy. Who gave this woman the opportunity to stand before men and speak? Is she even required to stand before men and speak? Can somebody put for me this woman where she belongs to, that is in the house? Does she have the husband? Is the husband present in this so-called church? Listen, your home is your government. Your home is your government. You are completely in charge of your home. You are not in charge of your home as iron men. You are in charge of your homes as God. The Bible says that a pastor should be a man, a husband of one wife, not a wife of one husband. A husband of one wife, having children, and the Bible says ruling his house faithfully so that he can be able to rule the house of God. Now if this woman is the one ruling, who is ruling back at home? When God wanted to show himself to the world, there is no other way he could come into the earth to rule and reign. It would be illegal because he's God and he's a spirit. And so he put you in place to govern for him. To govern for him. You are in your home to show your wife and your children who God is. Period. Anything short of that is you are, you are, you are walking out of purpose. Your purpose as a man as a husband and a father, is to show your children and your wife who God is. You know, 
these are the Jezebels that the Bible speaks of in the book of Revelation. Because any time a woman stands up and takes the position of a preacher, that is so dangerous. Because any time we read the Bible, it is the woman Jezebel, not the real Jezebel, but having the spirit of Jezebel, making men of God to go in bed with her and committing wickedness. So before she is called Jezebel, who gave her the authority to be called a pastor in the first place? Women like this woman here should be made to sit down and no man should listen unto them. If that is not enough, because somebody might say, ah, uh, she can speak in the church, but not in the house, or she can speak in the house, but not in the church, because people like twisting the word of God, I'm going to read again unto you the Bible, in the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 14, the Bible says in verses 34, let your women keep silence in the churches. For it is not permitted unto them to speak, but they are commanded to be under obedience, as also saith the law, the word of God. And if they will learn anything, let them ask their husbands at home, for it is shame, keep not of that, for it is shame for women to speak in the church. What? Came the word of God out from you? or commit unto you only, if any man think himself to be a prophet or spiritual, keep note of that. If you think you are a man and you are a prophet and spiritual, the Bible says, let him acknowledge that the things that I write unto you are the commandments of the Lord. But if any man be ignorant, let him be ignorant. That's all. So you, how you treat your family is your own understanding of who God is. When you are sleeping with other women and chatting up other girls and being unfaithful, you are saying that's how God is. But you are a liar. The Bible says let God be true and all men be liars. When you beat your wife, you are saying God beats. And the Bible says God does no evil. There is no evil with God. And so in the government of God, he is in charge. And all he does for us is goodness. When we sing, we say your mercies are good. Your, your faithfulness is every day and all of that. Don't we sing that? So a man is supposed to be good every day. Supposed to be faithful every day. Supposed to be kind every day. And I know some of you are blessed with such men. When you have a good man, you are in heaven. I want to say this. It is so shameful for men of this church, even to a point of standing up, a woman is commanding them and she's she's even showing them how authoritative she is and they still stand up shame on you man and i don't know if this woman has a husband shame on you mr husband and by the way i just got to listen unto her because i wanted to speak of these issues but she's not worthy to be listened unto and if you don't think that i'm married my wife is back there on the forum and we are at peace and so, the word of God must be followed to the latter. And you know, these things must be stopped because I'm very sure, I am very sure men of this church and their wives are not at peace. Because women in this church are now finding the ground to stand on because the woman leader in this church is, is speaking unto them in a very disgraceful way, causing them to stand up and to sit down and speak unto them like she's the one. You know, shame on you, man. Shame on you, man. And these are the things that should be taught in churches. You know. And the husband to this woman, she should, he should ask himself, why is he allowing this woman to speak so boldly in the church when the Bible says that it is the man that is supposed to be leading the church? It is the husband, not her. 